Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about potential DLC ideas for Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you have not beaten the game, I encourage you to before watching this video, but if you have not, I will still try to make this as spoiler-free as possible. There's a lot of potential with Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC. It's something that I think we're definitely going to get this year. So today, let's look into a couple potential realities for what we might get out of that DLC. Let's jump right into things. Now, the first scenario that we're going to go over for potential Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC is the Hisui region DLC, as I'm dubbing it. In this scenario, we're not getting new locations outside of the Hisui region. We're not getting new islands to explore per se. We're not getting a new landmass or another region in the Pokemon world to explore in this time frame, in this period of time. We're getting updates to the mainland of Hisui, to the regions that we were able to explore in the main game and adding more story content. With that, there's a bunch of things that I can see Game Freak adding. I can see them adding more Pokemon in the form of outbreaks, Pokemon that appear in certain locations that didn't already before with the DLC. I can see them adding new alpha Pokemon of all of these different new species that are more powerful than the alpha Pokemon from the base game. Basically giving you more of an incentive to go back out into these environments and catch a ton of Pokemon that you didn't already have. The Legends Pokedex isn't massive by any means. There are plenty of Pokemon from Pokemon's long almost 1000 roster history now that aren't in the game. These could be Pokemon from Pokemon Home, Pokemon from Sword and Shield that they want to integrate. They could be Pokemon from across the history of games. There could even be some new Hisuian forms that we don't already have. Maybe there's Pokemon that have been in hiding, and now that the region is more at peace, once you come to the climax of the story and the post game, a lot of these Pokemon are coming out and making their presence known. Pokemon that aren't known to the research team and aren't known to you. So you've got to go out there and help further Laventon's Pokedex even more. I think this is a great way to add some new content to the game, especially because as we've talked about with the story beats and with the gameplay mechanics in a previous video, catching Pokemon, obviously, is central to the entire, the bread and butter of the game. You catch Pokemon to gather more resources, to make into items, to help you catch more Pokemon, to raise your team, and if you're in the main story, progress the story. That's where this component also needs a second piece. You need to add new story content into Legends Arceus. And I think the place where you can add new story content is with the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. In a hypothetical world where this DLC happens, from my perspective, we know from the main story that the almighty Sinnoh, Dialga and Palkia, are actually two separate beings. We know this, we knew this <laughs> right off the bat from the present, but the clans didn't. The clans felt that the alternate clan, alternate, alternate, what words am I using? I don't know. The Diamond Clan thought the Pearl Clan, you worshipped a false god, essentially. The Pearl Clan thinks the Diamond Clan worships a false god. So what if we, and eventually they come to know that both of these gods exist in the Pokemon world. So what if in the DLC, we start to see these groups integrate together? We know that the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan don't exist in present day. We know that these uh, these overseers of the Hisui region eventually fade into the annals of history. What if in some way we begin to see this process? I think it would be an interesting story, and I think it would be interesting to see which members of these clans resisted and maybe broke away on their own, and which were more okay with this more integrated view of the Hisui region. I think it'd be a really interesting story content, and I think it would mesh well uh, thematically speaking, with the wild Pokemon that we didn't know existed here kind of re-emerging as well. I think it would work really well together. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course, as I always mention, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on as well so you never miss another upload. Even though Legends Arceus is out, it is gonna be an action-packed year for Pokemon and Nintendo, and you don't wanna miss any of it. Now, the second piece of this Legends Arceus DLC theory comes from the fact that I think there's going to be two separate additions, two pieces to a DLC pack. In the first part, I mentioned expanding Hisui, adding new Pokemon, adding more story content, 
all of those things that go with making changes to the game as we already know it. But I think we're also going to get to travel off of Hisui in some way. I don't think it's going to be a, a separate landmass. I don't think it's going to be something more complex where maybe you're visiting the Kanto region or the Johto region. It's going to be nothing like that. I'm really enthused by the idea of taking two concepts from Pokemon's past and weaving them into Legends Arceus. The first is something from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Those were the Sevi Islands, a ton of more tropical, not really, more tropical islands for the player to explore that would expand as you continue to progress. They had their own mini stories in them. They had a bunch of Pokemon that were not native to the Kanto region that you couldn't previously catch, and they added a lot more replay value. There are also legendaries that you could catch in the Sevi islands moltres was moved in fire red and leaf green to the sevi islands that's where you had to catch it i think adding a chain of islands that are off the coast of hisui similar in the same area as maybe the islands for Darkrai and cresselia up north to the west a little bit might be a good place to do it or maybe switch it so you have some more islands to the northeast possibly on the region map adding a bunch of places with people from other regions who are trying, and this is where I think it could be really cool and speak to some themes from Legends Arceus. It's a set of islands where people from different regions go to before eventually moving to the Hisui region. It's almost like an immigration island from the real world in the United States of America. Ellis Island and Angel Island, depending on which coast you were on for, for decades, was where immigrants came through and came into the United States. So what if in the Pokemon world, you have a chain of islands where people who are trying to come to the Hisui region have to go and dock and kind of live for a little bit while they get cleared by whoever it might be, the galaxy team, the clans, whatever the story beat needs to be. And these islands are a settlement and a culture all of their own because there are plenty of people who are just coming through these islands to come to Hisui. But there's also a thriving community of people who live on these islands who call them home themselves. And I think that relationship would be a really interesting story beat to explore. Legends Arceus already subtly deals with discussions of, of colonialism and immigration and all these different things. It's very subtle. Of course, it's Pokemon, but they handle these story beats really well in the main game with the Galaxy team. We welcome new members of the Galaxy team from the shores of Hisui into the village at one point in the story. So this feels like a natural addition to what already is a really interesting set of world building pieces to how people come to the Hisui region. I think it could come in a second part. It could be the second edition, something that comes in the fall, whereas the general Pokedex expansion and Hisui mainland story expansion happens in the summer. Of course, with all of this, I think you're also going to definitely see more clothing options, more items, probably some new Pokeball and crafting recipes. All of these things will happen, new hairstyles. This usually happens with DLC. When we got the Sword and Shield DLC, the packs, uh, the Isle of Armor specifically, introduced a ton of new hairstyles, a ton of new clothing items. It did a lot in that respect. It added some other small features. For example, it added following Pokemon in the specific areas. I'm not necessarily sure something like that is going to come with the DLC, but I think something like these islands could be really cool. Another thing that I would love to see them add, and this is real speculative, this is like a fan dream of mine, is Mirage Islands. In Hoenn, there are certain islands that only appear during certain days, weeks, months, times of years, depending on the Pokemon you have in your party, there's a ton of different variables. I would love to see some of those. I love exploration. I love finding new things in Pokemon, not in Pokemon, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which came out a couple years ago. One of the coolest features was the fact that you could go explore a randomly generated island and collect resources from it at your heart's content. You could find new villagers there. It really kept things fresh and it was a really fun way to separate yourself from your main island. I think something like that around the coast of this set of islands that we're adding off of Hisui would be really cool. I understand that these islands aren't in modern Sinnoh, so you're gonna have to come up with some reason. They don't need to do anything serious. You can you can just write them in. This is Pokemon. They they really paying attention to the timeline. Maybe it's an alternate universe. There's a, there's a lot you can do. It's not a worry of mine. But this is my idea for two pieces of Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC. It's it's speculative. I think the first one is a lot more realistic than the second one, but it feels natural given some of the story beats we saw in Legends. So I would love to know what you guys think. 
Do you like my ideas for Legends Arceus DLC? Would you want it to go in a different direction? Maybe add multiplayer features like battling with your friends or something like that. I would love to hear down below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video because it really shows me that you guys want to see more Pokemon videos like it in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.